All right. The next question I have for you is it's a question we've been discussing ever since the inception of this channel and that question is should you join an academy? Oh, this one uh of course so uh, I'll give you my absolute honest opinion and my personal experience. So I was a really paranoid student and I I joined a tuition center out of this paranoia uh during my A2 winter break in December. Uh, and I joined a tuition center. How much did you pay? Uh I paid now uh, the actual cost is 48000 rupees but because alhamdulillah I had some uh, friends who were studying some family members who were linked with them I had to pay 40000 rupees but now sadly it has increased even further so uh you could go for tuitions if you absolutely need to in the sense that you are a student who like uh, needs others notes the notes from tuition centers and needs a teacher or a studying environment with a lot of students like classroom uh, environment pretty much uh i did enjoy it at the first like month but then i realized that i absolutely did not need to do this because uh after my winter vacations i had to attend these classes uh, for 9 hours on weekends so 3 hours for each subject on saturdays and sundays and i was completely exhausted because i had my a levels that was coming up i had to focus on my nnd cat as well as the going to tuitions and learning from them So uh I did like Anis so Hussain's MCQ pool book that was really awesome. Uh I would highly recommend that one uh, again. But, But I think you could also buy that you could buy that from Urdu Bazaar I think. Absolutely Urdu Bazaar provides all of this and it's uh, mostly cheap it's not that expensive. Or yeah, you, you don't can use online resources. Uh like if I'm not wrong there's this website called Said MDCAT and they have these uh, books already in the PDF form. Okay okay. okay. So right. that's a good thing that I would recommend. And, so I I, I uh, feel like listening to you I feel listening to you the so our opinion were back okay so I joined a uh, doctors in back in 2015 the same reason out of paranoia my friends are joining and I'm like oh no I have to join as well and because I had no elder siblings who went through this path no one advised me get a feed nahi jao it's a waste of money so i also gave into this and i was like i t- asked my parents and they got me admission into this doctors in and honestly speaking uh so i think you and i we both could agree that the four months of studying for this one exam it's very depressing right so yes absolutely so if you want if you're in need of you know social you know if you need social interaction and you want to be surrounded by people in the same boat you know the same struggles so definitely i would definitely recommend joining one of these centers you're surrounded by people you will be less depressed you can discuss your problems you will find you know different approaches to this exam so in that way it would be beneficial but if you go from the mind with the mindset that i'm an a level student they are going to teach me everything i have to know which is the federal board ye nahi hoga the best way to yeah, teach absolutely. federal board is syllabus samne hai books samne hai just mix and match and read by yourself okay so this is what i would say what would you say like i think we're on a similar page on this Yes, absolutely. I absolutely 100% agree with you. If it's absolutely needed and you want that social interaction, you can go for tuitions. And the advantage is being that you can, for example, uh, because I was an Anis Hussain, to this day I am still updated regarding the admission procedures or the documentation by Anis Hussain themselves, which is great. Uh, however, on the educ on the academic point of view, I personally like self-studying because I'm more of a uh, person like I like to be alone on the table and just. it's a not a whole quiet uh, complete quiet uh, like no sound at all i'm just focusing on my work i have my book i have my notes and that's it uh, that's me so i uh, prefer that way uh, on the other hand uh, a really important point that i was almost about to forget is that uh, anis hussain or any tuition center uh, is great you can obviously like uh, sir rafi just said uh, is called sir rafi said that uh, you can obviously go into tuition centers but if you are 100% reliant on them then it won't work like akhir ka at the end of the day khud ki mehnat bahut hi aham hai so you absolutely absolutely need to work hard as well 
and like if you go to tuition centers and only study over there and don't open the books at all at home even for an hour or so then it's not going to uh, benefit you at all yeah. one hour of self studying is good at least because uh, I mean, at the end of the day for example subjects like you know biology that is pure ratta like like there is yeah. no way to explain <laughs> this and that it's just pure ratta no sir is going to you know just they're not going to transfer it to your brain you have to read it or you have to take notes you have to underline it highlight it and then that's the only way it's going to transfer it to your head so yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> so i just feel like you know self studying is very important once you get into your university you're going to realize that this whole tuition center uh culture it goes away in university in university you have to teach learn everything by yourself so i feel M- mcat this phase is a good time to pick up this habit of self studying So yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely uh, I would like to add a point uh, in a way of learning so uh, this might not work for everyone but when I was studying and personally uh, so when I was at Lyceum I was in this place called Honor Society in which uh, we would use, we would tutor our peers or our juniors and I love teaching so during my studying period uh, obviously I was alone at home usually uh, in my room on my desk I would just pretend like I'm teaching someone else because it helped me organize myself and I because of this pretending game I actually uh, honed in my uh, skills for MD cat in a better way. Oh that's really good that's really good. Uh I think um you know um there are different ways to learn and I think research has been done on this. The best way to actually solidify a concept which you're not really good at in your head is to teach it to someone else. So this is an actual yes, exactly. tip on how to actually study very well. and get a concept cemented in your head so that's a really great way all right 